Alright, so one of the videos I looked at the footage, it's fucking out of focus, don't care. And I, even more upset, realize I'm gonna run out of time before I can finish the 100 reviews, the commentaries at least, today. Oh, look at that, the paper came out. But here are all the ones I filmed today. San Andreas. Gone. And you thought there was never a girl online. Sayonara Zetsuba Sensei. Limbo. Designer New English. Row of Cards. Volatile. Song of the Sea. Frank Ocean. Nostalgia. Ultra. Six Years. Hush. Shaolin Showdown. Sausage Party. Ajin. And today we're doing number 96 up here. Into the Storm. And we are going to be playing that video in a number of seconds here, as soon as I can find it. And this one, five, four, three, two, one. Today we are reviewing so this the storm. is another and product of a very not, uh, this movie was shot not really the feeling the whole review style. format and trying so to do stuff different. Let's begin. So this is me going to be jumping around uh, area to area, kind of doing some kind of vloggy style review. Into the storm. Will we still have the intro? So, yep, we're, we're committed to actually doing this. This movie is so generic that I need to add a gimmick to it just to, just to review it and make the review fresh. But it's only a four minute so, review, um, so. so. So let's talk about this movie. Hello, Nothing bad Soldier. about that. Today we are reviewing Into the Storm. But before we begin, if you have seen this movie, as always, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you're wondering where I am at, I am at my buddy Keith's house. Completely fair argument. Uh, filming on my phone, I believe. Um, you know, even if I was doing this nowadays, I would do it differently. Uh, along the lines of, you know, the 2012s, the San Andreas. But I filmed my ass off while I was at his house, so. It's just a movie, like, with the premise. You I'm know, not surprised I did it at his place. He had a more, the implications of that mean. like, one it's problem about having so much stuff at my place is it's harder to film like, without, you know, if you don't want, like, stuff in your background, movie, you know, I don't care, especially for these kinds of videos, but for some videos you don't want that much stuff. So his house worked really well. You know, with horror, it's like there's like this homage. He had a lot of you know, open space. Activities and shit. Whereas um, I live in a little no, with this, closet like, house. Fuck it. Just do it. Cheap. Let's make money. And I'll say the first half of this movie was pretty much. Audio average. quality just sharpens. Uh, from the Video quality just was, sharpens. You know, very generic. There's these stupid stereotypical, ca stereotypical characters. Uh, it was boring. Should've just stayed out here. Complete trash. So this was actually the second time I saw this movie. Then you cut to watching the first half of this shitty really inside. Like reaffirm myself and say, yeah, this is this is about as bad as I remember. Yeah. At least with our found footage movies, they stay found footage movies. This movie like gave up halfway through. It was like, eh, like half the scenes, they it's found footage enough. It'll count, and eh, no one will bat an eye. Eh, eh, eh. Although the movie. I don't remember this movie at all, by the way. During the second half. Um, I remember there was a lot of tornadoes and shit. You know, they weren't just These they weren't fucking just disaster movies piss me off more than anything because it is complete lack of substance. Most of the characters are usually a character trait at best. Worst case scenario, they're like annoying as hell through the entire movie and just scream at the things going on a lot. Uh, original. It was like, hey, we have this little romance between the nerdy kid and, you know, this girl he likes. And there was, you know, uh, each of the adults had parents. I'm sure that romance just uh, stood the test of time and it went the distance. And it's one of those relationships like, uh, oh, you know these characters stayed together like after, uh, after this. I don't know how that works. It just happens. So, yeah, this was a fine movie. In the end, all you can really ask for is... I think just trying to find, like, you know, ten... The most you can get out of it however many right, shots I just did. Characters. However many of those shots, this like, that many good shots. Right. Uh, um, it would be fun to do something action. like this uh, you know, like with when, the you know, better, actually, not phone like camera. And, and you know, good mic quality and trying to... 
uh, so make something interesting out of it. Here. Uh, other than that, I can't really brag you know? about anything this movie has to offer. I'm gonna give what, the this is one of those reviews, you know, it exists for the sake of existing. Thank you so much for five out of ten. Please, you can check out my Twitter, my Patreon. This could have came out better if I wasn't rushing it, but um, like something like this, probably would put it on this channel. I don't like this seeping into my main content. But well, now this whole show is a little bit less main content. Um, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, guys, that was my re review commentary for Into the Storm. Um, and I guess I'll get these other four review commentaries done when I can. <sighs> This close. This close. I'll see you guys next time, and until then, with that, I leave you.